Hi everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to Karen Sizzle and Spice. Today we're gonna make soup. It's the middle of winter and I love a good bowl of soup for lunch. Today we're making broccoli cheddar soup. And for those of you who are familiar with the Panera restaurants, this is better than Panera. You're gonna love it. This is all you're gonna need. We're gonna need some broccoli florets. We'll be using salt and pepper, of course. We'll be using some carrot, some celery, some garlic. We'll be using some onion. We'll need a little bit of flour to thicken up our soup. We're gonna be using some chicken broth. We'll be using some milk. You can use any kind of milk you want. I'm gonna use skim. We're gonna use just a touch of dry mustard. We'll be using some butter. And of course, we need our sharp cheddar. And we'll be using some heavy whipping cream just because I want to. Let's get going. I wanted to show you the fancy bread we're gonna use here. It's a nice round sourdough bread. Uh, I'll cut out the middle of this and we'll pour the soup right in here and Ed and I can share it right out of this bread bowl. It's gonna be fantastic. So let me put that aside. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna start getting all my mise en place ready. This way I'll have everything ready to go to throw into the pot. I'm gonna cut the broccoli florets into nice little pieces to get started here. <laughs> hey you guys, there's a celebration going on here. You know, I've almost reached my 100th video. I can hardly believe it and I wanna say thank you to all for watching and please make sure you click on my Facebook page and click on like. I'm doing several giveaways as I reach my 100th video I want you guys to help me celebrate. I want to give away some prizes and make sure you subscribe. I want to show you how to make matchstick carrots. Now carrots take a pretty long time to cook. They're a root vegetable. So we do want to cut these small for the soup because the soup itself doesn't take that long to prepare. So I've peeled the carrot and I'm going to cut it in whatever size matchsticks you like. So I'm going to do like three cuts in here. Then I'm going to cut off one little side of the carrot so that it's nice and stationary on my board. And then I'm going to cut these into uh, slices very carefully. Ooh, yeah, very carefully. I could probably do this one one more time. There we go. Then I'm gonna put all these in a pile like this maybe just a couple at a time so they don't slip. And I'm gonna make little matchsticks out of the carrots. Very simple. And of course I'm a perfectionist so I've gotta get them like perfect. But take a look at this close up. Here's your little matchstick carrots. There you go. All right, I've got about a half a stick of butter melted in my pot here, and I'm gonna add my onion and garlic. Ah, yeah, I love that sizzle. I'm gonna give these about five minutes, and then we'll move on to the next step. While those onions are sizzling away behind me, I'm gonna grate my cheese. Uh, every eight ounce package of a brick of cheese 
is like two cups. So I'm gonna do about one and a half of these. So about two and a half cups of cheese. And have you ever used your grater this way, laying down? This way all the cheese is inside here and uh, you can really just take it right over to your pot. I just realized that the other day myself. So I'm gonna get all this grated. Actually, I think the angle of doing it this way is a little bit simpler than having it standing on end. The onions have been sauteing for about five minutes. They're nice and caramely here. I added a little bit of butter, you can see. Another quarter stick or so, and now I'm gonna add about four heaping tablespoons of flour. Two, three, four. Then I'm going to whisk this. And this flour needs to cook out a little bit. So we're gonna leave this on the stove top here to cook out for about three or four minutes. If the mixture gets too thick, you could add a couple of drops of that milk that we're gonna be adding in soon anyway. But for right now, this looks good and I'll leave it go for a few minutes and I'll be back. Okay, friends, what we're actually doing here is we're creating a roux. And now that you can see this mixture is starting to turn a little bit of brown, uh, the uh, flour has cooked out, and I'm going to start to add my milk now. Two cups of milk total. We're going to pour in just a little bit, and we're going to get it uh, mixed in here nice and smooth. And then we'll end up adding that whole uh, two cups of milk. Oh, look how thick this is. I need a pot holder to hold on to this. I'm just gonna keep adding the milk until it's all incorporated smoothly. We'll be right back. Now I've got this milk mixture all smooth, all the flour has been whisked out. So now I'm gonna add in about two cups, two to three cups of chicken broth. This uh, can, I always have chicken broth and beef broth in my kitchen, always. I use them all the time for so many different recipes. This box is four uh, cups, and I love it because it has covers on it. You can put it in the fridge, what's left over. So when you use about half, you know it's about two cups. So we're just gonna leave about one cup left in here. Now we have three cups of chicken broth in here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring this to a boil. And when this liquid is simmering, that's when we'll add the vegetables. So we'll be back to do that. All right, this has come to a simmer now. Um, I'm gonna give this another good whisk. And at this time, I wanna add just about a teaspoon of dry mustard. I'm gonna just sprinkle that in. I wanna whisk it really well. Make sure that's mixed in there well. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper at this time. And again, uh, probably about two teaspoons of salt because we will definitely be tasting this to tweak along the way to see if it's spiced the way we want it to be. So about two teaspoons of salt, and then we're gonna put a lot of good shakes of, of pepper in here. I love pepper. You guys probably know that by now. Okay, I'm gonna give this a good whisk. And now it's time for me to put the vegetables in. So I'm gonna put in my broccoli my carrots, my celery, yum, yum. And these vegetables are gonna probably take about half an hour to get nice and soft. So I'm just gonna give this a good stir right now. It's looking yummy already. I'm gonna put my cover on like this, just to let a little bit of air escape there. Gonna turn the heat down just a bit so it's a nice a simmer. And we'll check those vegetables in about 30 minutes to see if they're done. So that soup is almost ready. I'm getting really excited. How about you, Eddie? Yes. All we have to add in the last few minutes is the cheddar cheese, of course, plenty of it. And we're gonna add a little bit of heavy cream just to make it truly decadent. And in the meantime, I wanna use my serrated knife and I'm gonna give my bread bowl here a good cutting into. I love crusty bread. I don't know about the rest of you, but I can't get enough of it. So I'm just taking this and cutting nice 
big circle so we can use this as our bread bowl. Let's see how I did here. Let's see how it looks. Let's see. Ooh, that's good. I'm just gonna dig out a little bit more of that bread so we have plenty of room for the soup. And now, Ed, all we need is the soup. <laughs> we'll be back. Hey friends, if you're familiar with my Facebook page, I very often post pictures and links for my very favorite kitchen items. Some of these items I've been using for years and years. Some of them are more new, like this knife set that I have from Rachel Ray. These knives are incredible. The price is so reasonable, and you get these three knives in a set. There's a paring knife, the small Asian knife, and this large knife. These things are so incredibly sharp. Uh, if you need a good set of knives, these are the ones to get. So make sure that you check in the description of this video. I post all my most popular necessary kitchen gadgets if you want to look at them for yourself. All right. The soup has been cooking here for about half an hour. Look at that beautiful, rich, creamy soup. The first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I wanna taste it to make sure the vegetables are done. And those carrots are the things that do take a little while to cook. Let me make sure this is ready. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's delicious. So you know what I'm gonna add first? Uh, a small carton of heavy cream, just because I want to make this even more decadent than it already is. Let me give that a good stir. And then of course, it's time for the sharp cheddar. We're gonna add all of this in here. Remember, it was about two and a half cups of cheese. Look at that, would you? So I'm gonna give this a stir. We're just gonna let this cheese melt. And uh, you know what's next, Eddie, don't you? Tasting. That's right, tasting is next. And I'll check it then, to see if it needs a little more salt and pepper. We'll be right back. Friends, look at how gorgeous this is. The soup slowly turns a, a shade of orange because of the cheese. This soup is fantastic. Now, if you find that it's a little too thick at this point, you can add a little more milk or a little more chicken stock to make it the exact consistency that you like. You gotta taste to tweak, right? Always tasting to make sure it's just the way you want it. Now, when I did taste it, it did need just a bit more salt and pepper. I'm just gonna add like another teaspoon of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then I promise that I won't make you wait any longer. <laughs> it's gonna be time to taste in just two minutes. We'll be back then. It's finally time to taste. Yeah. <laughs> This is so gorgeous, isn't it? It is. Dig in, honey. It's a shame to dig in. It's <laughs> so beautiful. Oh, I'm going to dig in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's cheesy. It's delicious. Mm. Just about half an hour was perfect for that. Mm. Those vegetables are nice and tender, nice and soft. Mm -hmm. We got a little bit of cheese on top here. You could put green onions on top. You could put sour cream on top. Whatever you guys like. Mmm. The cheese is just perfect. That sharp cheddar gives it such a great flavor. This is better than Panera, <laughs> don't you think? Yeah, yeah. This is fantastic. I hope you guys try this. I hope that you love it as much as we do. <laughs> and remember, you eat with your eyes first, so you've got to make it beautiful. Make sure you visit our channel often, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Take care.